the front has a natural slit for a mouth and a natural depression for an eye. And even if you want to go that far, a nostril up at the front. Right. With the head rearing up, it does, in modern eyes, look like a snake. The overall form has been altered to make it look even more snake-like. There are over 300 indentations that have been ground into the surface over what is obviously an extended period of time. When the initial excavations were conducted, they absolutely revealed a number of questions. One of the things found was an extremely large number of tools that appeared to be manufactured and then just left there in pristine condition. These look gorgeous. I mean, they're absolutely stunning. Once they were manufactured, then you did one of three things with it. You either manufactured it perfectly and just left it. Mm, yeah. Or more interestingly, you burnt it. But not burnt to just like throwing it in a bonfire. It's controlled burning. And the third and most bizarre thing that they did with them is they made it, manufactured it perfectly, and when they were finished, turned it over, smashed it in the middle. These are offerings, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, the only thing that makes sense, the, only, the best fit, is that they're sacrifices, they're offerings. They're not doing it for fun. They feel that coming up and doing this act would satisfy some kind of a need, some kind of um, a wish, some kind of a desire, although it's absolutely magnificent during the daytime. It comes to life at night. We can't speak to these people, but this, this whole place, it gets us so much closer to what they were thinking, what was going on inside. Yeah. We had always had the impression that this type of abstract thinking would have been beyond uh, the, the ancestors at that time. And now we definitely have evidence that that was absolutely wrong. That they obviously had the ability to hold abstract thought. You make an offering and hope for something back. Asking for probably some of the things that we would ask for, food, health, children, et cetera, et cetera. And you just think, oh my gosh, that's some of the that's some of the earliest behavior that we know so well.